chemical regulation of respiration chemical regulation of respiration is the one of the important long question from the respiratory system so in this topic we are going to discuss about the effect of oxygen carbon dioxide hydrogen ions on the respiration regulation sensed by the chemical receptors or hemoreceptors two types of receptors plays important role in the chemical regulation one is the central hemoreceptors another one is the peripheral hemoreceptors the central hemoreceptors the primary chemical control of regular breathing 70 to 80% is due to the central hemoreceptors it is located in the medulla ventrolateral medulla this is different from the dorsal respiratory group of neurons and ventral respiratory group of neurons present in the medulla nerves from the central hemoreceptor project over the inspiratory center present in the medulla the central hemoreceptor mainly responsible for the carbon dioxide partial pressure of the carbon dioxide it is stimulated by the hydrogen ion in the csf and interstitial fluids the magnitude of stimulation is proportional to local hydrogen ion concentration which is directly proportional to the partial pressure of the carbon dioxide the central receptors are separated from the circulation by blood brain barrier carbon dioxide can easily diffuse through the blood brain barrier the bicarbonate and hydrogen ion cannot diffuse the, through blood brain barrier so carbon dioxide enter into the blood brain barrier it uh, reaches the interstitial fluid or csf that plus that convert to the hydrogen ion that stimulate the central hemoreceptors once the carbon dioxide has enter into the csf it combines with the water to form carbonic acid in the presence of carbonic anhydrous enzyme it accounts for the 70 to 80% of the response to the partial pressure of the carbon dioxide peripheral hemoreceptors located in the carotid and iodic bodies carotid bodies are seen at the fibrication of the common carotid arteries the aortic bodies are located in the aortic arch surrounded by capsule with the sinusoidal capillaries the peripheral hemoreceptors are extraordinarily well perfused it has a more blood supply it consists of two types of cells peripheral hemoreceptors having the two types of cells this diagram depicts the location of the peripheral hemoreceptors the carotid body is located at the fibrication of the common carotid artery here the aortic body is located at the arch of aorta from the carotid body impulses are carried through the glossopharyngeal nerve from the aortic body this carries the impulse through the vagus nerve peripheral hemoreceptors having the two types of cell type 1 clomus cells and type 2 clial cells so type 1 clomus cells having the catecholamines like dopamine it releases a dopamine it bind with the dopamine to receptors it carries the action potential through the glossopharyngeal nerve to the medulla medullary region
medullary inspiratory center type 1 cloma cells similar to the chromaffin cells having the tens core granules contains catecholamines dopamine release to unmyelinated nerve endings containing dopamine t2 receptor stimulated peripheral hemoreceptor mainly stimulated by the hypoxia central hemoreceptor mainly stimulated by the carbon dioxide pco2 increased pco2 type 2 cells are clial cells are uh, supporting cells nerve fibers are 2 to 5 micrometer in diameter conduct at the rate of 7 to 12 meters per second nerve from the corroded body join to form sinus nerve the branch of glossopharyngeal nerve nerve from aortic arch join with vagus nerve both finally ascend to medulla the inspiratory center depend on the hypoxia and stimulate the blood flow to the corroded body is very high 2000 ml per 100 gram per minute but the actual weight of corroded body is the 2 milligram it supplies the blood per minute is 0 0.04 ml it compared to the kidney and brain it is the highest blood flow to the corroded body peripheral receptors detect change in the po2 corroded body is seven times more effective than aortic bodies corroded bodies stimulation increases the rate and depth of respiration aortic body mainly increases the rate of respiration denervation of the peripheral hemoreceptor if you cut the peripheral hemoreceptor abolishes the response to the hypoxia degrees oxygen level and acidosis increase hydrogen ions but the response to the carbon dioxide is reduced only 30 percent but for the normally peripheral hemoreceptors response to the hypoxia it is also respond to the acidosis and hypercapnia summary peripheral hemoreceptors mainly located in the aortic bodies and corroded bodies it is response to the hypoxia so in the hypoxia it releases the clomus cell the dopamine the dopamine is bind with the dopamine 2 receptors it is mainly it decreases the NATPH oxidase increases the cyclic AMP and closes the oxygen sensitive potassium channels okay it produces the deep polarization in the glossopharyngeal nerve it sends the impulse to the medulla it produces the hyperventilation the central hemoreceptors located in the ventrolateral surface of the medulla it mainly respond to the carbon dioxide carbon dioxide enter into the cerebrospinal fluid converted to the hydrogen ion by the harmonic anhydrase this hydrogen ion stimulate the central hemoreceptor produces the hyperventilation through the inspiratory neurons present in the medulla thank you for watching this video if you like this video share your friends those who are not subscribed this channel please subscribe thank you once again